Hey everyone, so today we're going to do a quick video on um, updating the Wi-Fi in this house. So um, at the moment we've got this, um, I don't know, there's the Wi-Fi router given by the ISP and we've got like a repeater a bit further down, but the Wi-Fi here is just terrible. So I'll do a quick speed test here. Um, we're currently, we've got a 5G network and a um, 2.4 gigahertz network. So we'll jump onto the uh, 5 gigahertz network here. And just do a speed test on the Wi-Fi. We should be getting 50 megabits per second down and then 10 megabits per, uh, 20 megabits per second up. So let's go ahead and uh, connect to the speed test here. Start the speed test. You can see, so we're not really going anywhere near and you can see it goes up and down. It's really unreliable um, connection. Here we're um, literally two meters from the Wi-Fi router and just terrible. So constantly when I'm doing video calls and stuff for work, it drops out. Um, you can see here, so even the upload speed's a little bit better, but still um, not ideal. So if we walk down this way a bit and uh, We've got another Wi-Fi repeater just down there a little bit. So we'll jump onto the um, connection there. And here we go, we're on the same five gigahertz network, but this time it's for the um, repeater. And half the time it doesn't even connect. Um, so you can see the problem here with um, jumping onto the Wi-Fi. Let's do another speed test. You can see that one's actually not going too bad, but you can see it's just intermittent now it's dropping out again. And we're going way back down. So let's walk back and we've got a great new product, Google uh, Nest Wi or Nest Google Wi-Fi. So we've got it here, you basically get a, um, a Wi-Fi router and then a point as well, and it's $399 here in Australia, uh, just from uh, local retail. So we'll go ahead and jump into this box and do I have some keys here? Yeah. So we'll just basically go through setting this up, do some speed tests afterwards. Um, we shouldn't need the two different Wi-Fi networks, it should just seamlessly jump um, your device between the two different Wi-Fi um, connections without actually having to manually go into Wi-Fi settings and changing the um, which Wi-Fi network it's connected to. Pretty excited to open this box, this just came out today, so uh, pretty cool stuff. So there we go, we've got the, uh, the router. So that's what connects to your um, internet connection there. We've got the ethernet ports to plug in um, the devices. And then we've got the, um, the point, so this will go halfway down the house and um, we'll use this to um, you know, boost the Wi-Fi and have a mesh across the house. This is also a Google Assistant, so you can do the old um, the Google thing that you say, I won't say it, it won't trigger your um, devices, but that um, lets you, you know, ask questions and stuff like that. Otherwise in the box, we've got um, some literature. Let's get started. I probably actually need to have a look at that. So get that ready to go. Uh, they're all about respecting your privacy, supposedly. What else have we got here? Some more cardboard and the two power adapters. So that one's just a normal AC power adapter. Oh, they both are. So no USB-C here. Um, kind of would be good to see, but I guess that's all right. And then what else have we got in here? We've got a, uh, what's this one? Ethernet, flat uh, Ethernet cable. And on the other side, we have nothing. That's basically it that's in the box. Let's go ahead and get this uh, set up. or we'll undo this clip. Kind of nicely clipped on there, and this one. I guess we can use this for um, cable management at some point. All right, can I even get this off? And get that one off. Cool, so we'll jump down, grab the router here. Jump down here to where the, um, the Wi-Fi thingy is. So this box basically comes in from the street with coaxial, and then that's the MBN in Australia. In Australia. This is the uh, ISP provided router, but let's get rid of that. Um, so let's keep this and let's get all this set up before we um, turn off the Wi-Fi, I reckon, in this house. And can we plug in there? Come on. Oh, actually, maybe let's just unplug this Nest plug. We don't need that right now. Cool. And now let's plug in this one. So we're just going to go ahead and um, jump it in there. And we'll grab the uh, Ethernet cable. Actually, let's just let's just go ahead and do it. It's unplugged. This is coming straight from the MBN box here into this new um, into the got two ports there. One's just for linking to other devices. One's a globe for the internet. So let's plug that one in. Cool. And 
Now that should all be on, we've got a little white light there. And it's all plugged in. Just put that in the ground. Let's get the app out uh, with my phone just here. So the app we need is the Google Home app. So let's open that up. Google Home. Let's try all that again. Set up device, set up new devices here. Cool, Nest Wi-Fi router, hit next. Camera permission, yep, that's fine. Let's scan the code on the device. So similar to a Nest camera, you just gotta um, scan that QR code. Pretty easy way of doing it. Boom, scanned. Now it's saying, do I wanna join that Wi-Fi network? Let's go ahead and do yes. And cool, we're connected. That's a good start. Create a Wi-Fi name. Call it what it used to be called here. Create a password. I'll just, I'll blow this button. Cool, hit next. Um, no, I don't really want to send usage statistics to Google. Uh, I can use cloud services, I guess. Where is this device? It's in the living room. Creating a Wi-Fi network. Cool, and we're connected, so it's created the Wi-Fi network. It was just as easy as plugging in that cable. And I think, is that all we have to do? I guess so. Let's jump on and check out the settings. Cool, we're connected to the device. Let's go ahead and run a speed test maybe. It's probably a good, good start. Already we can see the difference there. It's basically just jumped up consistently at 46. I'm actually blown away by this. So I didn't actually think it would be that pronounced as a change, but um, look at that. This is gonna change my life. It's having this great internet speed consistently throughout the house. So even before we plug in the point, maybe let's just test this at a point because this is a um, pretty beefy antenna. So let's walk down to the other end of the house where we were before. You could see the uh, terrible internet speed we had there before. And we'll just unplug the repeater that we had. So we don't get any interference or we don't connect to that. Still got three bars here of Wi-Fi on my um, device, my iPhone. Let's do another speed test. That's a little bit down, but still that's a lot higher than what we we're getting before. So if it's topping, if it's bottoming out at 25 or 26, that's pretty great. And we're gonna be adding another point in a second, so that'll help. The upload. Yeah, about the same as what it was before, going up and down, but still, <laughs> this is incredible. Cool, so that's pretty amazing. So let's get the point set up. So same kind of setup process. We've got um, QR code stuck there. Got the uh, another power cable, which is the same, which I'm probably gonna struggle to get this clip off again. Cool, so we got this one, let's uh, just plug that in here. This is the one that's a Google Home, so it's good for you know asking questions to it and stuff, so let's just put it here. And uh, drop that one down, oh, drop something there. Oops. And we'll go ahead and plug that in underneath. Cool, let's do the same thing. Oh, apparently we're still waiting for the previous one to finish. Cool, so it says set up. This is the next step, set up multiple devices. Looks like you have a two pack, which we did. Place your Wi-Fi point when they're no more than two rooms away. So we're not really that far. We could probably actually put this further away, but let's just try it here for now. It's not focused on the screen. That's right. Plug it in. Cool. Um, yeah, Google Assistant we have to set up as well because that's the one with the Google Assistant in it. 
Go ahead and do that. Voice match. Yeah, okay. I agree. Put the address for this house. Set up all the services, video services, blah blah blah. Voice calls, yep, whatever. Oh, phone number. Oh, I don't want to set this. Skip now. Do you want to set up another device? No. Testing the mesh connect mesh connection. Cool, so now that we've set that up, we've got um just tells us where it's set up, living room, hall point, uh, the Wi-Fi password and the username. Uh, Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. There you go, so it tells me all the things it can do. So if we go in the Google Home app, we can actually see the um, the thing set up. So we've got hall Wi-Fi and living room Wi-Fi. So let's have a look. This is living room Wi-Fi. So this the one we just set up there. You can set up a speed test or do a speed test. And not all the features are in the Google Home app, so I've also got the Google Wi-Fi app, which you can use to have a look at um, some of the more advanced settings. Let's have a look at this quickly. So this is going from that access point to do a speed test. So it's not from this device, it's actually from that um, access point. So this is a good indication of your internet speed, you know, to your house, basically. Cool, and test complete. There you go, 41 megabits per second down, 17 up. That's kind of, we're paying for 50, 20, so it's pretty close. Cool, um, in terms of settings, got uh, just a bit of information about you know, everything about it. Here, can't really do too much more. We can also go onto the actual, um, to the uh, mesh point. This is the one that's a Google Home as well. We can do a mesh test, so the test between the two devices. This will give us a good indication of whether it's a good spot that we've put it or not. Cool, mesh test complete. There's great connection, all right? Apparently that's all it gives us. Let's go into the uh, Google Wi-Fi app here. Yep, might need to sign in. Oh, hang on. Let's quickly sign in, y'all. Oh, here we go, cool. So we're set up. Got the uh, Wi-Fi points here, and we're finding all nine devices on the network at the moment. So we can have a look at the Wi-Fi points. Got living room. You can see the test there. I uh, got a lot more settings. Restart network. Restarting to add Wi-Fi points. Uh, that's it. We can apparently test the mesh here as well. We can go back. We can have a look at the devices. We can see in real time what each device is, uh, is using. So megabits per second up and down. That's pretty cool. What does this button do? I can prioritize uh, devices. So, you know, if you're playing on e Xbox or something, you can give your Xbox the good internet connection for multiplayer games. Um, there we go. What else can we see? You can do a network check, priority device, show the password. Um, turn off the Wi-Fi. We can limit Wi-Fi, turn it off and on, or you know, block sites for certain users. You can set up a guest Wi-Fi network if you've got people that come over, you don't want them to access, you know, your network. Um, let's retry that. Cool, that's pretty good. You can see history of all the different speed tests that we've done. It does one every two days on average anyway, so you can see how your um, you know your ISP is holding up. Look at usage as well, so um, current you know, usage of the Wi-Fi network in terms of download and upload. See if someone's hogging up all the bandwidth. Cool, and then we can pause Wi-Fi. Anyway, that's basically the uh, Google Wi-Fi app. So as you can see, the app is really cool. You get a lot of control and you can see all the different devices, but the main part and the great reason, um, the great thing about Nest Wi-Fi is we get really great internet um, access now all across the house, so really great spread. So Wi-Fi performance is what you want and it's what you're getting out of Google Nest Wi-Fi. So thanks for watching this uh, technology video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this uh, this I don't know, run through and subscribe to Technology. And also stay tuned for a, the ultimate home networking um, setup. But obviously that's not at this place. It'll be at another place. But it'll be really cool. So stay tuned for that.